I am Wong C. Wherever you see my picture, click on video to hear about grammar. Thank you. Hello, I am Wong C. Wherever you see my picture, click on video to hear about grammar. Thank you. Hello. I just wanted to make you aware of a grammar video that's been posted. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to go at the speed of lightning and I'm going to give you the 12 basic tenses in English. If you do stay on this platform from the 31st of May onwards, when I hope to diversify, there'll be more of this kind of videos because a fraction of the followers that we have from India and some beautiful Arabic speaking countries are here to learn English. Also, our friends from Sub-Sahara, some of our friends from Sub-Sahara struggle with these tenses, having interacted with at least 200 writers from the sub-region. I think this sort of videos are beneficial. You may, if you wish, pass. If you prefer poetry and short stories, I'm sure there are the articles on the feed that might grab your attention. So, let's look at the 12 basic tenses. I'm going to go through them as fast as I can to keep the video under 10 minutes. I'm going to start off with the present simple tense. It will describe an action that's ongoing or a scheduled activity. If, like myself, you board the business truck train, you might at London Waterloo hear this announcement. The business truck train leaves from platform number eight so leaves there shows it's a regular or scheduled activity my other example will be i sit behind jennifer in class every day it shows so that is a regular occurrence i am going to contrast the present simple ladies and gents with the past simple it will describe an action that happened in the past and often it is a one-off event. Please note that with the past simple for irregular verbs, we'll bring in a new word. I sat behind Jennifer in class yesterday. The bears in stroke train left from platform number eight. I want to quickly look at the future simple. The future simple will describe an action to be completed in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind it has not yet occurred. I'm going to bring in a new word which is the verb to be in the future and I'm going to use it alongside my main verb. So you're going to hear me using two words, one of which I will call an auxiliary and the other, ladies and gentlemen, is the main verb. I will sit behind Lucretia instead in class tomorrow. The Bezenstrock train will leave from platform number nine instead. So, let's now look at continuous tenses. Continuous tenses, ladies and gentlemen, are ones that have an ing verb. They also use the auxiliary, which is the verb to be. Let's look at the present continuous, which would describe an action that's going on at the minute. I am sitting behind Jennifer right now. The bears and truck strain is living from platform 10 as you hear this announcement tripping my words there it's been a long day my child's on half term as well let's look at the past continuous past continuous tenses will have two parts and they'll have an ing word and they'll describe an action that took place in the past and it shows that there was some kind of duration duration means it went on for a period of time i was sitting behind jennifer in class yesterday when the bell rang the Bezenstrog train was leaving from platform number nine as I dashed through the, the ticket barriers. <laughs> I'm a mom. I've been with my child all day. I've done my housework. Okay, so 
I want to look at the future continuous tense. Wherever you hear a continuous tense, you would also expect to find an auxiliary and a word end in ing. Well, now you know the score. So I'm going to bring in another word because I like to show you how words from the verb to be help to form an auxiliary or helping verb which is then conjoined with a main verb ending in ing. So please look at the screen. I'm going to be using three words. I will be sitting behind Lucretia instead tomorrow. It says an action is going to happen at a specific point in the future and it's going to be going on for a period of time. I want to bring in the perfect tenses at this juncture. I want to quickly bring in the present perfect tense. At this point I'm going to say there is a lengthy video on my platform that looks at tenses in detail. These bite-sized videos are for people who struggle with a data bundle or may generally not be interested in grammar at all. But you and I know that they might benefit from these videos. So let's go back to the present perfect. It will describe an action that started in the past that has been completed or probably it still has some kind of relevance to present day. My example would be, I have sat behind Jennifer since the start of the year. The basin stroke, stroke train has left the platform already. So it has only just left. Excuse me tipping my words there. I tell you what it's got to do with tiredness. I decided to clean my um, house again today. I'm doing it in sections and I tell you what it's quite a big house to clean. So let's move on to the past perfect. The past perfect would correspond with the present perfect. Now I'm going to use the verb to have but I'm going to use it in the past tense. So I had sat behind Jennifer when suddenly the teacher asked me to change places. It describes an action that or called in the past soon before another past event took place. I'll go quiet as you look at my example. And don't forget, if you search up perfect tenses on my feed, you would have a lengthy video that shows how they work with object phrases. That's for people that probably have a better grasp of English. I aim to channel this up bite-sized videos to beginners who maybe might come here for basic English grammar. So I want to now bring in the perfect continuous tense. So I want to first of all look at the present perfect continuous. Now that I have told you that perfect tenses use the verb to have as the auxiliary, you're going to be looking out for the auxiliary. I have also told you that we use the verb to be for future tenses, or I might not have, I might have done so in an earlier video. So, ladies and gentlemen, the perfect continuous tenses have three words. So, I'm going to first of all look at the present perfect continuous. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you hear the word continuous, you might expect to find a word, which is the main verb, ending in ing. I have been sitting behind Jennifer in class for three years. You would expect they're still sitting gen in class behind Jennifer. What about if I look at the past perfect continuous? I had been sitting behind Jennifer for a year in class before the new teacher changed my sitting position. It's a bit of a long sentence, isn't it?
I just wanted to show that with the past perfect, especially, you need to have to lean on another um, phrase or clause, or I would describe it as an object. If you don't know what objects are, kindly look up parts of a sentence on this page. Don't forget we have a subject and an object. Okay, so I have exceeded 10 minutes and now I've got myself into trouble because I need to quickly look at the future perfect tense. So the future perfect will describe an action that finishes in the future before or at the time of another action. So I will have sat behind Jennifer in class by by 2024. I'm going to have to edit this down, ladies and gents. I'm tripping my words. <laughs> That's because I'm looking at the clock as well. And so I'm doing this and I've got one eye on the clock. Another example of the future perfect will be Mary will have learned English for three years by 2025. I'm going to inflect that sentence because it might sound better in the future perfect continuous. I am going to say, Mary will have been learning English for three years by 2025. I will have been sitting behind Jennifer for a whole year by the end of 2024. I want to just recap to see whether I've left out any tenses. There should be 12 of them. If I have omitted them, any, I'm a mom, and there's several other videos on this page, I'd explain them in detail. I should try and do this when my child is not at home, and I must apologise for the background noise as well. I've got my child playing beside me at the minute. Ladies and gents, do enjoy the rest of your day.